happy Monday, friends. We are going to do another vlog today because I find in this entire time of social distancing, it is better to be documenting it, at least for myself. Jack is awake. He got up early to spend time with Matt before Matt started work downstairs. And we woke up, oh, you're not gonna be able to see outside, to snow on the ground again. <laughs> Now this week is our last week of homeschool for the year. We will finish our 175 days requirement on Friday. However, we do school year round, so we're going to be starting um, new stuff probably in July, and so I'm researching that right now, resources that we need to purchase. But we are also going to be continuing um, math through the summer this year. I noticed that my kids really struggled when we would take some time off from math and I feel like just a little bit of math every day will help them continue to excel and it will hopefully help me from, uh, you know, struggling to teach them. Um, so we will be done with our days on Friday which I'm really happy about because I know that a lot of people do not or are not able to complete their days this year um, because so, so many things are different today. And that is kind of what I'm gonna talk about, I think, today, just the fact that right now, um, people are talking a lot about everybody's homeschooling now, but that's really not what homeschooling is. Everybody is kind of in crisis schooling, even current homeschoolers, because I know that for us, we have a lot of activities that we go to during the week that are now um, canceled. Uh, the primary one being Emma's band and jazz band and all of that stuff. Uh, so it is definitely different. Now, we are able to get a lot of stuff done when we're at home because I kind of know how to manage our days. This is our ninth year of homeschooling, so I kind of have a, a good rhythm and I know what works. Every year is a little bit different, but for, for um, the most part, I can figure out what we need to do, when we need to do it, when the kids need breaks, when they need a little bit more exercise time and whatnot. But um, I want to encourage you. I know that so many people are struggling right now and that's okay. It's okay to be challenged. It's okay to not entirely know what's going on, but um, we just have to sort of take the next step. Just do the next right thing right in front of us and keep moving forward. And so, yeah, we're gonna try and do some of that today. Part of what I'm working on today is this pantry inventory. I made a printable for my Townsend House community, and so what I'm going to do is sort of go through all of the food that we have on hand and just make a list and quantities. And the reason that I'm doing that is just because that is going to help me put together a list of meals that I can make with the food that we have on hand. <music> school we've done this morning? The answer is zero. Well, it's not entirely true. Jack has been working on... What are you, what are you working on? HTML. He's doing... <laughs> Emma was doing some reading. Jack is creating a website through HTML. Are you doing it like in Word or what are you using? So he's just putting HTML and WordPad and creating something. So that's that's educational. Lucy is watching a Minecraft uh, choose your own adventure type thing on Netflix. And I'm making some popcorn for a snack for the kids. 
Um, they are going to watch that Mr. Drew Facebook Live. They've really been enjoying that the past week. Emma was so excited because last, I think on Friday, she saw that he had an oxalotl, um, which is, <laughs> she's been working on a presentation since last year to try and convince our state, the state of Maine, to let people have oxalotls as pets. They are not, you can't have them in Maine unless you have a special license, which obviously we do not have. I think it's for people that are like, um, maybe wildlife rescue type things. I'm not sure. Uh, anyways, so yeah, that's what we're doing right now. That is hail. It's currently hailing. So we are done with school for the day. Emma has a little bit more reading to do. It's like three o'clock. Um, like I said earlier, we started late again. We've been late starters recently, which I'm okay with. It's the end of the year. Everybody's kind of slowing down. Like I said earlier too, this, even though we are homeschoolers, it does seem strange right now with everything that's going on and just um, not really being completely settled and in a new home, which was a hard transition for my kids anyways. Um, it's been a little challenging to say the least. We are homeschooling. <laughs> we are carrying on. I've been very productive because we, we haven't had to leave the house. We haven't been able to leave the house really. and. So it's been good produ productivity wise, but I still, it, I just feel out of sorts. And I think part of it is because of the snow today and the hail and just the dreary weather that it kind of puts a damper on things, but also just the unknown. I'm really into knowing what's going to happen next. I don't like feeling unsettled. I like I'm a planner, so I like to know what's going to happen. I'm pretty, even if things don't go exactly how I plan, I always have like a contingency. I always kind of know what is going on. And so when I don't know what's going on, when I don't know what the end result is, it's a little nerve wracking. And that's kind of how it has been for me for the entire school year because of the house sale and I wasn't sure if we were going to stay at our old house which obviously we didn't we moved and then as soon as we move I'm thinking great I'm going to be able to get all settled and new rhythms and everything's going to be hunky-dory and then coronavirus happened and I just feel unsettled and I don't like it <laughs> so I am trying to be cheerful and positive and I want to encourage you that this is a different time period. It's not, even if you're a homeschooler, it's not normal homeschooling because you may have um, lost your job, your spouse may have lost their job, they may be working from home, they may be in the medical field and just things are crazy. You know, you may be dealing with some food shortages in your area, um, no toilet paper, that kind of stuff. It's all just a little different and it's all stuff that we have not dealt with before. So we all need to sort of give ourselves a little bit of grace and know that it is okay. We are going to get through this. Um, and it's okay to not know what's, what's going to happen next. I'm just trying to remind myself, just deal with today. Uh, my mom was talking to me this morning and she just said, 
you know, when you pray, you ask for your daily bread. And so that's what I'm just going to concentrate on. What do we need today to get through today and not worry about tomorrow because tomorrow, tomorrow will worry about itself. Um, so yeah, this has been a little bit of an unconventional day for us. We haven't been as strict about our rhythm. So, but it, the kids are done and they are playing nicely together right now. And I am going to make some turkey tacos for dinner. I found some turkey breast, ground turkey breast at the grocery store. So I'll mix that with um, some canned tomatoes, some chili powder, um, and I'll cook some rice and we will have um, turkey tacos for dinner. And yeah. Tomorrow's a new day, April 1st. The new Simplified Teacher Planners are coming out. I did not buy one last year, but I am going to get one this year because I want to review it and compare it to the Erin Condren. I think I'm probably still going to stick with Erin Condren, but I might do a giveaway for the Simplified Teacher Planner that I purchase and review. So um, you can stay tuned for that. And Thank you so much for joining me and I hope that I am giving you a little bit of an encouragement during this crazy time. Please let me know uh, how you're doing in the comments below and if you like this video please give it a thumbs up and don't forget to, sub to subscribe if you are not already and I will talk to you soon. <laughs> Bye. It's my turtle. I had to build it upside down but though because this puppet. is like this. When it's right side up, so I had to do everything backwards. Dad, right. was that? It looks very nice yeah. to me. Thank you. The Captain America. You mean the Spider Man thing? Mm -hmm. How's yours looking? This is the food, oh. Mama. You have the food? Mm -hmm. And this is the plate. I'm collecting it. You're collecting food for the turtle? Mm -hmm. Okay. Also got this. I've come up with a name. This is Winston the Turtle. Winston the turtle? Yes. Winston shall be my...